In the very beginning of their musical career, Bombay Bicycle Club had formed a reputation for high-energy gigs, which saw their audience jumping on stage with them. Although an act encouraged by the band themselves, the crowd soon began to take advantage of the invite. When that first started off, people used to come and kind of dance on stage and it was nice, so we encouraged it for a bit and then I think we gained a bit of a reputation for it and people just used to come on and not really care and, you know, disregard the show and smash stuff, yeah. Take advantage of you guys. Yeah. Is it different, that feeling now, playing with a, with a barrier? Yeah, well, it's always a bit of a shame when the barrier is so far away because you do feel a bit disconnected, but you need to find the balance because when they, when they used to come on stage and jump around, Every gig we just break so much equipment that after a while we were like, this isn't really working anymore because they would just like smash all our amplifiers and you just need to find the right balance. Another reputation the band carved out for themselves in their early beginnings was their female concert goers throwing bras at them. That's mainly Seren actually. I can't so take credit and if, if a bra comes to us, it's normally aimed for him and they're just bad at throwing. Sometimes it doesn't reach Saran, so like it lands near us and we get excited, but we know it's for Saran, so... There's always the quiet ones, yeah. 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 I mean, a couple of interviews I see you talk all the time, but I mean, it's, it's always these three guys. Well, I'm quite quiet anyway, but I think this interview is meant to be these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Got a bit hijacked, but um, yeah, you know, I'm just a quiet guy, you know. Laid back. Yeah, yeah. Is there, is there like a leader in this band? Is, is it, it's usually the quiet guys are the leaders, right? Yeah, I'm fear. With their latest album, A Different Kind of Fix, the band returns to the electric guitar driven sound of their first album. With their second album, Flaws, a more acoustic outing that surprised critics and fans alike. Bassist Ed explains that even they don't know where the new sound will take them. Um, we, I don't think any of us knew that it, we'd do the acoustic album and then the more electronic album. It kind of just happened at the time. Um, so. I honestly don't know what's going to happen. It, it could be anything, really. We've got a, like a vague idea of what we want to do, but right. again, things change a lot when, when we're making the record and the run-up to that. I guess it just depends on what songs come along. Most of the songs is based on, obviously, on personal experiences. Um, how do you write such deep lyrics or, well, deep songs when you're so young? Um, I don't think, I don't know, I don't think age has anything to do with it. I think it's just what you've done with, your, you know, the things that you've experienced, so. I think young people are probably better at writing songs. I think you're sort of less uh, self-conscious when you're young, and you just, you just pour it all out. And then... Um, I find myself becoming more self-conscious as I get older. Okay. So do you think like, the, the songwriting process might change? I think so. But hopefully you start getting wiser. And then... Yeah, I think it just, it's getting a bit less personal. But maybe it's because... Because you're getting famous and becoming douchebags. Because we're just getting douchebags and going to these hotels, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me on the show, guys. Thanks it was so a much. pleasure. Thank you. Welcome to Singapore and have a good gig tonight, man. Thank yeah. you. Thank Thanks you. a lot.